Hey everybody, this is me, Lucas, from the JIRA Network, and today I have a very special video. Uh, just a couple days ago, a semi-untethered jailbreak got released for iOS 9.3.5. And that's good news for me, because my iPad is running iOS 9.3.5. And same with the iPhone 4S, that's the latest firmware that can run. My iPhone is running iOS 6 right now, and I use it every day. But a lot of you, or some of you, I guess, might be running iOS 9.3.5 on your iPad or iPhone. But good news today, because with this jailbreak, we can dual boot iOS 9 and iOS 6, and I'll show you that today. Before we start, I want to encourage you to back up your device, because doing this messes with the partitioning system on the iPad or whatever iOS device you're running and uh, we could corrupt something or something could go wrong and you have to restore it so you're always going to want to back up your device before doing things like this okay so first of all we have to start on the computer so what you need to do is first of all go to this website I'll leave the link in the description of course and you need to download the IPA which is basically this then you just click download then you need to download Cydia Impactor and it's available for both Windows and Mac and I guess Linux so you can pretty much do this on any computer so once that's done you open up Cydia Impactor or I guess it's just called Impactor you open up Impactor, then you drag it into the Applications folder. I already have it in my Applications folder. So after that, you just open it. Then you plug in your iPad using the Lightning connector. Then you just drag this IPA into here. Okay, so at this step, you enter in your email for your Apple ID, or your iTunes email login. Then you, then you enter in your password. And don't worry, it's not, they're not gonna see it or hack into your device. There is one problem. If you don't have an Apple developer account, this application will only last one week before the certificate uh, expires. And once that expires, then you have to re, then you have to do this step over again. And if you're really serious, I guess you can do that, but it's just kind of an annoying thing that you have to deal with until the untethered version of this jailbreak comes out. Okay, once this is done, you move over to the iPad or iPhone. All right, so at this step, we open up the application that all of a sudden showed up right here. Oh, right, so... If you try and open it, obviously you'll get that error message or certificate message. So what you do to fix that is you go to General, Device Management, and then you click on that, and Trust. Now it should work. So all you do is you click prepare for jailbreak, accept, dismiss, proceed with jailbreak. Then begin installation. And I don't know what this is, so I would just click or press use provided offsets. Then it'll do its thing. So once it's done uh, rebooting, uh, it's now jailbroken. So that's it basically. Uh, you'll have to reboot, or you have to redo that every single time you um, reboot the device. But today we're gonna go one step further. We're 
going to install Dual Booter. All you do is go to Sources, Edit, Add. And this repo is pretty simple. I'll leave a link in the description. All it is is coolbooter.com. So once you put it in coolbooter.com, just click Add Source. And once I do that, I usually click Refresh Sources, which is in the corner right here. And once that's done, you go to, you click the Cool Booter repo, or you can search it, and then Cool Booter Beta. So all I do is click Modify. I don't know why it says Modify. Then you click Install. Once that's done, all you do is go to Cool Booter. Oh, it'll ask you to back up, which I had talked about before. Then you just click Install. This also works with iOS 7 if you just want to, you don't really care about iOS 6, you just want to breathe more life into this thing. I'm just going to go with iOS 6.1.3, but you can go all the way up to 7.1.2. And since I'm going to mainly use iOS 6, I'm actually going to give the most amount of storage. All you do is click storage right here and the maximum, but you can go to 3 if you want. Then you just do I'm ready. And what verbose boot is, with this dialog right here, it, makes, it makes it so you want to see all the code and stuff, which I think looks cool, instead of just the Apple logo when you're booting iOS 6, then you have the option. I'm going to do that. And it'll ask if you want to jailbreak it. I'm also going to do that. So, of course, it says reboot right here, so you're going to want to reboot. So at this step, we've jailbroken it, I mean the other firmware, and we've installed it. I guess it's just doing its other stuff, whatever that may be. But, because I said before that every time re you reboot it, you have to re-jailbreak it, uh, we're going to have to re-jailbreak it. So, of course, we have we go, go back to Phoenix, then you click Kickstart Jailbreak, use provided offsets, and it'll do the exploit. So, now we can go back to Cool Booter. And just click boot. So at this step, we have to lock our device for 10 seconds. I usually do it for 12 seconds just to be on the safe side. And if you did the verbose, it'll show all this code stuff, which I think looks cool. But if you didn't, it'll just probably show an Apple logo. The iOS 6 one. Or iOS 7. And if everything goes as planned, you have iOS 6. And that's it. All you do is do the setup and you're done. The only problem with this is you can't back it up using iTunes or iCloud. 
So whatever you do, just make sure you don't corrupt anything. I mean, on iOS 6, you can't back up, but on your other official iOS version, you can do all that stuff. Well, thanks for watching.